Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. It's Monday, September the 2nd, the year's 2019, Labor Day. Let's talk trading, the weekly opening gap. I know, I know, I didn't put out a video Sunday night. Um, so we're going to talk about the weekly opening gap right here, right now. But it's a new month, so let's start this month out right. If you're just now joining um, my channel, and if you've been watching and you're a subscriber, you know money and risk and then you decide either what your position size or stop loss is going to be and then you calculate the other but each and every trade you definitely have your risk management in place so we have two gaps that haven't filled the aussie yen and the aussie uh kiwi new zealand aussie new zealand dollar as far as the uh See, it's dollar yen. Yeah, I know. We were doing the EUR AUD, and somebody said pick another pair. But you know what? I'm going back to what I know for a while. We might just hop around day to day or week to week. Um, but one of the reasons why I want to look at dollar yen again, as you can see here, remember that first week of the year? I think it was the first day of the year we had that really huge spike down. Well, you'll notice last week we actually put in a new low for the year and so when i saw that happen it was time to uh and then you see when this level when price came back above that level it was time to start looking for longs so you can see there was a there was a huge opportunity there in fact you're 170 pips above that low right now but you can see price gapped down and popped up into the upper uh, weekly wick zone right there. Now, somebody sent me a video asking if the wick zones change every day. Yeah, on the dailies, they do. Um, you know, you know, it's always the candle high, candle top for the upper wick zone, and then, you know, the candle bottom and candle low for the lower wick zone. So those things are always the same, but the levels, the values for each of those levels, as you can see here, change week to week. Well, you can see here, there really wasn't much of a difference here these last through of candle top not much of a difference at all okay here we see once again where we are for the year we're down for the year on the end there's the open 344 pips below that open and you see we here we open below the previous day's midpoint which usually means we want to have a uh, short bias so far the month we're up the week we're up the day we're up because we're still in that very first day and we're putting in the weekly or the uh opening range for the week here on this very first day you can see that and there's that first the opening range for the year right there that first day trading day of the year And as you can see, we're below all the openings for the last 12 months. Oh, actually, I need to put in a new month here. Right there, I'll have to do that. Got a new month. And same ditto for the range here. Now, you can see we had an inside bar last trading day, and price opened below, went a little bit down. Now we're inside. So looking to go long at 53 and short at 10. So keep those in mind. You can see we have some opportunities on inside bars here. 
The blue is the current. It means we have an inside opportunity. Current day. And here we've got in, some inside bars if it's grayed out two days ago, three days ago, or, or weeks ago, or months ago. So all those are in play. Something to note, though, the Euro AUD inside bar two weeks ago, since we were looking at that last month. In fact, you know, there's plenty of traders make money. They can just use that one screen, look for the possibilities, place their, place their trades ahead of time, their um, limit entries, and they can take it from there. On the range, since we're almost done for the day, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs over a hundred. And for the holo traders, highest open, lowest open, H1, put in there, fell down. Here's the monthly D1 highest open, which is the first day of the month. So, of course, that would be it. And here's the H1 lowest open for the month. Once again, first day of the month. So everything is monthly. And looking at the buy zone, you see here we had a pivot, was a way above the open, way above the buy zone by 12 pips. So on that first trade, we only take the long. Here we click in, or here, or here, or here. And then you could have ridden it out, taking profit at the pivot or more. And in fact, there's this one trader. I think they they really like these uh these missed pivots going for that pivot trade i think that's all they're doing now but it's just one tool in the toolbox to use mainly looking for a bias which way to trade using the buy zone or the daily weekly open cross whichever you prefer rat zones you can see here red rats feasted green rats got some even though we only had a 48 Pip range, which is less than what I like to see, but the dollar yen hasn't really had that much of a range per se. So you're looking to take small profitable trades, you know, green candle closes, red candle closes. You go short there on a rat reversal. Maybe you took an H1 highest open trade to the short side either way there was money to be made and then coming out of that zone into the other one once again for greed rats money to be made and we already saw the pivots off the buy zone chart but once again we took out that upper pivot weekly pivot 105.78 look for that to fill and we have a monthly pivot, 106.66. Look for that to fill. Those pivots usually fill. They might not fill this week. And they might not fill this month, but they usually fill. So for August on the end, we only had one missed pivot. You can see we didn't have a missed pivot. We had three back in May and one in April but not that many missed pivots. And you don't worry about it because if you push your stop losses in place, you're not gonna be looking at any of these 100, 200, 500 pip losses. And there's showing all those missed pivots. Price action. Now, one thing about the Euro Yen that's different, I'm sorry, the uh, dollar Yen that's different than the Euro Aussie is, the dollar Yen doesn't have that same H1 range. So you can see here, we opened inside and we closed inside. We opened inside, closed inside. Open inside here, closed inside. 
there's a few that didn't do that but for the most part but then again it is a holiday but we can look at the statistics and you'll see that I believe it's below 10 And here's the wick zone, in and out, in and out, back in. And just taking horizontal line crosses here. There was just that one nice one here to the upside. Once again, you would ignore shorting because you, you're, you're trading off of that gap fill. You're trading off of that pivot point. So you're just looking for reasons to go long and stay long. And as we come up to the end of the trading day here. You can see there's only about a two pip movement, not much happening. On the Einstein line, once again, as you can see, just there wasn't much happening since I've opened this trading portfolio or profile. Whoops, I'm not really ready to end the video, am I? I think we wanted to look at a few other things first. Once again, showing the wick zone overlapping with the rat zones here. Oh, a trader wanted to know where the latest version of the indicators were. Well, you guys know where I post them, and uh, the latest version of the TRO HL5 indicator is, the nev is in the uh, Never Lose Again thread. I posted it out there. All you have to do is, is you know, Google TRO HL5 and just see the most recent post. It's, it's not hard to figure these things out. Looking at the highs and lows to be taken out, you can see here, if we take out the uh, 0.17, we're going short, take out the 0.28 going long. Acts like computers acting like it wants to take a holiday on Labor Day here. I'm not sure why it's not switching screens. I'll pause while we wait. Okay, back to you. Here we go across the different session opens here. This computer, <laughs> it's really acting funny here. Here we go. Taking its own good time here on the range. Note the uh, average range 136 on the weekly, average range 90 on the daily. And showing the, the uh, once again, the weekly chart here with the buy zone here for the week. Once again, this is a uh, very, it's a, it's a nice profitable trade usually. For those who can't just sit, they can, you can pretty much place your orders, place your TP, place your stop loss. You win some, you lose some. But just remember, fellow traders, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. Forex trading is risky. So seek your advice from an accredited financial professional rather than somebody off of YouTube, right? You all know the drill. Okay, so there we go. Weekly opening gap. I really hope some of you traders took advantage of it. If not, we can come back next week and take advantage of it. Okay, for the rest of the week, I don't know what we're going to be trading. We might do a look at a different pair each and every day. But it doesn't matter because remember, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there, drain the banks. Have a safe and happy, fun Labor Day, too, while you're at it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.